Welcome to Kids Fun Club. My name is Nivedita and today we'll be reading the story Anna's Extraordinary Experiments with Weather written by Nandita Jairaj illustrated by Priya Kurian and published by Pratham Books. Foof! Foof! Anna Mani blew out all eight candles on her birthday cake. Happy birthday Anna! shouted her brothers and sisters. Anna had a big family and a big house on a hill but on her birthday she had only one small wish anna tore open her birthday gift and peered in there was something sparkling inside diamond earrings ah yay she did not want diamond earrings they were expensive and useless do you know what anna really wished for books books and more books we have books at home said her brother but anna had already read those there are more in the library pointed out her grandfather but anna had read those too she marched into her room hmm. later that day there was a knock on anna's door but there was nobody outside instead there lay a big box at her doorstep this better not be more jewelry she said loudly it wasn't it was a brand new encyclopedia set so many books hooray anna ran around her house hugging everyone many years and many 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 books later Anna found a job in the laboratory of a famous scientist. What should I do here? asked Anna. The scientist pointed to a box. What do you think she found inside? Diamonds, ah ye, said Anna. But this time the diamonds were not to be worn. They were for experiments. The scientist wanted Anna to find out what makes diamonds shine. so she read books about diamonds books books and more books being a scientist was the best anna could study anything she wanted she did like things that shine and what shines brighter than diamonds the sun so anna read books about the sun sunlight and weather books books and more books Anna did hundreds of experiments. She built many gadgets to measure the weather of a place. How sunny is it in Bombay? Anna built a gadget to measure that. How windy is it in Madras? Anna built a gadget for that too. Her favorite gadget took many months to build. It was a special balloon called ozone sonde. It had a small machine fixed to it. The machine measured a gas found in the air called ozone. Ozone sons fly really high. Look, there goes Anna's ozone son. Guess how many gadgets Anna Mani built in all? Nearly one hundred weather gadgets. She even had her own factory to make these gadgets. It was as if she could build anything. Anna Mani became one of the wisest weather scientists in India. Even as she grew older and more well known, her best friends remained the same. Books, books and more books. Life and Times of Anna a timeline 23rd August 1918 Anna Mani is born in Peermaid in Kerala 1940 she gets a scholarship to work at C V Raman's laboratory in Bangalore 1945 she leaves for England to study meteorology 1948 She returns and joins the Indian Meteorological Department in Pune. 1962, she starts work on the ozone sonde project. 
1976, she retires as Deputy Director General of the Indian Meteorological Department. In the 1980s, exact year unknown, she starts her own company to manufacture her gadgets. 16th August 2001, Anna Mani passes away in Kerala. Wonderful weather words. Meteorologist. Say it like this. Meet your all o gist. Again, meet your all o gist. A meteorologist is a scientist who studies the weather and climate of a region. Anna Mani was one of the best meteorologists there ever was. Ozone sound. Say it like this. O zone sound. Again, O zone sound. Ozone sounds are balloons that fly high up in the sky. The balloons have gadgets fixed to them that measure the amount of ozone present in the air. Ozone is important because it blocks out harmful light coming from the sun. Too little ozone high up in the sky means we are in trouble. If you could be a scientist, what would you want to study? A note on the book. This story is a work of creative non-fiction based on the life of Anna Mani. Hope you enjoyed the story. Now walk over to the window and take a look at what the weather is like today. And if you were to become a scientist one day, what type of a scientist would you love to be? Think about it. Now until the next story, take care. Bye-bye. Stay safe.